a great quick win for a productivity and communication boost is to automatically notify everyone who applies to a job online that you've received it. Let me show you how you can get that done with your fish. So we're gonna build it as a submission-based campaign because that's how those are coming in. The list criteria here is we're gonna find our web responses. Again, we'd want that an always updated list so it'll work moving forward. Now web responses, depending upon how your configuration uh, is inside the database and with your website are typically either it's gonna be a submission status of new lead or a submission status of web response. So those are the typical two ways that uh, that will kind of come into the system. Um, it is recommended that if you do put something like this in place, you would uh, not wanna do any date because as you can see, you could have quite a few web responses kind of historically hanging out, but you can use the after date and just pick kind of a time a week from now, a few days from now. So then once we hit that, that day, moving forward, every new web response will get covered. So that's typically how we recommend doing that. We'll just throw a day here, let's say June 1st. So obviously that's gonna be zero until that time passes. Um, but that is the list and the trigger. So we're just trying to find anybody who applies to a job online. So there is our, our list logic. And then here, it's gonna be a communication step. So we can either send an email, send a text. Most of the time you wanna send an email here. I'll just kind of show you some of the options. You can do a you know, rich text, a, a plain text. Uh, let's just do a plain text, make it nice and short and sweet. Um, so this is where you can also leverage kind of the merge tags. So you can bring in information about the, the candidate. Um, so you can have you know candidate first name, for example. You can also merge in the job tag, uh, so this is a job title. So we can bring that in as well. So you can dynamically populate that. You can have this come either from the owner of the job. Uh, you probably wouldn't want it to come from the submission owner because it's probably that's your website most likely. Uh, you also could have it come from the person that owns the, the candidate. You could also you could have it come from a generic email. So you know like a a recruiting at type um, email address if you want to. We'll just do the job owner for now, but and you can also copy that person if you want to. So you have a bunch of options as far as who you want this message to send from. And again, you can have the same kind of merge tag functionality inside. Um, we'll just, just do a couple here. Inside the message. So again, you can do something like this. Again, we can throw in that job title. And again, whatever you kind of want to put in here as far as content goes, obviously that's your prerogative. But you can also you know, create dynamic signatures. So you could put uh, the job owner uh, kind of, you know, information in here as, a, as merge tags. Put their email you can put their phone number if you want to as well so kind of contact information so again just kind of some examples of, of ways you can kind of customize these even though they're going out at scale now we're back into the automation so that would be kind of the auto responder we would end the automation the nice part about this is for every it's a submission based campaign so for every web response that comes in this would trigger out automatically um, and then you have an option uh, here with your send schedule. Um, you could, if you want to have the message be kind of personalized, we would recommend then you kind of, you do it in recruiting hours uh, to, to kind of have that illusion that is coming directly from a recruiter. Obviously, if you get a message at two in the morning, uh, you know that a recruiter didn't send that. If you want to do kind of more generic and you know, kind of, you know, from the company kind of thing, you know, thank you for your interest, we received it, just that kind of type notification, then oftentimes you'll open up you know, this send window here and have it send uh, kind of all possible times. So that's how you would do the autoresponder.